White House announced Hunter Biden's presence on Marine One moving forward? Uh, that's something that we've never done. This is the family. The family gets to uh, travel with, uh, with the president, and, and that's been the case with every other president. Uh, and so it's not something that uh, we have done or, or we would be doing moving forward. The reason I ask is just the, the legal trouble he's facing, if leaving him off the list would appear to some like an effort to conceal him. Um, at, and I guess the question that it begs is why does the president think it's appropriate that taxpayer dollars should be used to fly him around when he's been indicted and justified a congressional subpoena? So I would refer you to uh, Hunter's personal representatives as it relates to any questions about uh, the legal affairs. Uh, but as you know, as you know, as it relates to the past couple of days, as I just stated to your colleague, uh, is that, uh, you know, um, the president and their family were uh, obviously, uh, it was a somber, a somber and, um, and I'll say lastly, and I've said this many times before, the president and the first lady loved their son very, very much, but as it relates to anything uh, in regards to his legal affairs, I would have to uh, certainly um, refer you to his uh, representatives. I just don't have anything else to add on that. Um, I have two questions, but they're tied together. With the holidays coming up, which members of the Biden family will be spending Christmas with the president and the first lady? I noticed today when the president arrived on Marine One that Hunter Biden and his son Beau were also on the helicopter with them. The White House provides to the public a list of staffers who travel with the president. Why don't they provide a list of the family members that travel with the president on these government so, budgets? Uh, um, I I have to double check to see if that is indeed uh, correct, because I did ask about that. So let me just double check. Uh, look, I'll say this more broadly. Um, obviously, you've seen uh, the president um, uh, with his family these past couple of days. I don't have anything to add about the family. Obviously, the president is very close to his family uh, as it relates to the holidays. Uh, he spends, obviously, every holiday with his family, mostly every holiday with his family. I just don't have a list of names uh, to share with you at this time. Okay, JJ. I have been fortunate and blessed to, during the course of being vice president, have many situations where it becomes clear to me that there are, you know, people of every age and, and gender, by the way, who see something about being the first that lets them know they don't need to be um, limited by other people's limited um, understanding of who can do what. You know, every election cycle we talk about this is the most election of our lifetime. Lawrence, this one is. This one is. We are literally talking about people who are attempting to divide our country in the most crude, frankly, and profound way. We are talking about those who are intent and purposeful to, to attack fundamental freedoms, be it the freedom to make a decision about your own body, the freedom to love who you love openly and with pride, the freedom to be free. Let's have a robust debate on immigration, but don't hold the issue hostage. State where you are. Let's work it out. We have offered a plan. So, you know, I think that it's, um, it's very unfortunate, but it actually is, is more than just unfortunate. It will have real consequence for these folks to play these kinds of games with who we are as America in terms of our role of global leadership. It will have consequence.